Now let me tell you, how can you measure anything? There are two types of data, continuous data and attribute data. Continuous data uh, can be represented on a number line. Uh, it can have a decimal place. It can also have a, uh, have a unit. Uh, say, for example, uh, age, height, age is 52.5 years. Uh, that's my age. Uh, height, uh, maybe 180.1 centimeters. Uh, cycle time of a process, 3.5 hours. Or procurement time in an organization, uh, 120.3 days. The, these are all continuous data because they all have a possibility of a decimal means they can be expressed in decimal points and also they all have a unit. Now let us talk about attribute data. Attribute data can be expressed in categories and categories can be counted. Say for example, if you want to uh, measure happiness, so easiest way to measure any attribute uh, data is to create a category and if possible you can create a binary category a presence or absence of that attribute can be one of the simplest categories so if i take uh, the example of happiness two categories i can create happy unhappy so if i want to increase the happiness uh, in the employees uh, uh, in the organization then i can always count uh, how many employees are happy let's say uh, 60 employees are happy and 40 employees are unhappy i can express this as proportion that means proportion of happy employees in my organization is 0 0.6 and proportion of uh, unhappy employees is uh, 0.4 and uh, it can also be expressed as percentage now this proportion or percentage they don't have a unit and a count like uh, 60 employees, I can't have 60.1 employees who are happy. So the count will not have any decimal point. So this is what uh, continuous data and attribute data is. It is very important to know the difference uh, between continuous and attribute data. And it is very important to understand what is continuous data and what is attribute data because the tools which you are going to use in the measure and analyze phases, they depend on what type of data you are dealing with. If you are dealing with continuous data, then you might use histograms. If you are dealing with attribute data, you may use pie chart or uh, uh, Pareto charts or uh, bar charts. If you are dealing with combination of continuous and attribute, like in inferential statistics, then you may be using uh, box plots and scatter plots and regression, ANOVA, chi-square, etc. So the tool usage depends on the type of data you are dealing with. So it is very important to understand the types of data.